Okay, everybody, here we go. You might have saw the unboxing live on my live stream of the Kasori 2.1 quart pressure cooker. Multifunctional cooker. 2.1 quarts, 2 liter. I call it 2 quarts. How's that? For 3 plus people. Yeah. They don't know me very well, do they? All right, this is going to be great. Want to see it? You already saw me unbox it live. If not, go check my live feed and you'll see a rerun of it. But we're going to cook with it for the first time. And here it is. Isn't that beautiful? Little functional. Seven functions. All kinds of settings. Digital display. Look at this. This is so neat. Look. And it comes with... It comes with... Measuring cup. There's a condensation cup that goes on the back or the side. Let's see where this one goes. Right back here. That just slides into the back. This, they gave me an extra ring, which no one ever did that for me. Look, let me open it. Close. See that tab? Open. Look at this. Stays right there. Or you can take it out. See? Take it off like that. Also, they give me and give you a lid because it's a slow cooker. Isn't that nice? Isn't it cute? Got a little rack. <laughs> nice. Power cord, ladle, instruction book. Quality. Oh, you can scan that and you can get recipes. Nice. Good customer service, great support. Easy to read instructions. Watch. See? Easy, easy. Some suggested cooking times. Do's and do nots. One of these rice spoons, textured. That's nice. I already showed you the ladle, right? Ladles are great. I like ladles. Let's plug it in. Let's put the lid back on. See how nice this is? You can use that this to keep your lid on there. That's very convenient. This just slides in there. See that? Nice. Pull it down. And you can't mess it up when you close it, see? Nice. Alright, let's plug it in. Plug goes in the side. It's very convenient. In the wall. Nice. Beep. See the display? One of the greatest features about this that no other pressure cooker has is when you release the pressure, you know what you do? You push that button. See? No, you push that button. Isn't that neat? See it? And then for sealing, you do that. You make sure you're in sealing mode. Well, that's how it works. Sealing. Release. So you're not going to go burn your hand like crazy are you that's nice never saw that function we're going to demonstrate it the one i'm going to cook for my first meal i have a small pork tenderloin how much are we going to get in there we're we going to get the whole thing i'm going to make pork and beans my basic food pork and beans which i'm going to like a lot open it up let's see how much of that pork we're going to get in there i'm going to saute it first too i'm going to cut it in little chunks I'm going to cut this in half and see how much I'm going to get in this little two quart. This is nice. I'm going to put this lid aside and the extra ceiling ring is great. That's the first pressure cooker out of my nine pressure cookers that ever gave me an extra ceiling ring. I like it. Let's look at some of these functions. Taste. That's so you can uh, go more or less with your desired tenderness. Soup congee, yogurt, saute, which I'm going to go right now because I'm going to throw a little olive oil in there and brown up that meat just a little bit. Keep warm setting, start, stop, slow cook, which is great, and presets, okay? And down in here in the screen, I don't know if you could see, it says rice, canning, meat, stew. So that's how we can, let's see, let's, let's stop that. Let's go through the menu. See rice, see it there? Steam, canning, poultry, meat, stew, beans, Multigrain and bake. All right, I'm going to go meat and stew when I'm ready. But right now I'm going to stop it and I'm going to go saute and put a little olive oil in there. 
cut up this little bit of meat and just stir them around a little bit. Just a dot, just a little bit of olive oil. First time, all washed out. Nice. And don't forget to press start when you pick your mode. All right, let's cut this meat up. Got my sharp Shanzu ceramic knife here. Whoa! I cut that meat in half to begin with. I think half is enough. Did you ever get these pork tenderloins? Sometimes they get them marinated. Sometimes you get them bigger than this. This is going to be the ultimate pork and beans. And you can make this in any size pressure cooker that you have. It's going to be fun in a two quart. Just cube it up somewhat. Get warm. Yeah, get warm. Cube it up about an inch or two pieces there. However you like it. Get it warm first in there. All right. It's getting warm. Sure is. Here's a schnizzle. Yeah, he's he's browning all right. That's a good mode. I like that. I'm just browning this just to get a little color and to demonstrate the saute mode. Okay. Think I can get that all in there. That was fun going live, wasn't it? You're all there. You watch me live? If not, watch the rerun. That's why I unboxed this. This was a surprise. Plus, I, I was eating Dickie's takeout barbecue food. I can get more in there. Yeah, this is going to be good. I also got a can of beans. Much is best barbecue baked beans with barbecue sauce for breakfast, baby. Or that's going to be because. I do believe I put the rest of it in. So, how much did that weigh altogether? Two pounds. Nice, nice sizzle going on in there. I'm gonna fill up this pressure cooker for sure. That's some good meat. Look how lean this is. Oh, cut that, cut that. You don't have to cut it. But to fit in this one, and to make a nice pork and beans, I'm going to. And this might be my dessert. After that big Dickies meal I had. But I have to demonstrate this for you. Don't I? Let's gear it up a little bit. Nice. Kasori. New brand that you didn't hear of yet from me. New brand in the house. I'll let you know how it works. Kasori. You're going to hear more of them too. You're going to hear more of them in about a week or two. You know why. Okay. Put that brown up. Stir it a little bit more. Mmm. Yeah, that will be three, three or four people, won't Three or four real people. This is going to be so delicious. Let me get out my old-fashioned can opener. Open old-fashioned can. So the saute mode goes into five-minute modes. I already went past that and I reset it. That's okay. That's so you don't leave it in there too long for saute now. Open these beans with this old fashioned can opener. Nobody sent me a new one yet. This is hard work. See this? Sometimes I slip and get my fingernail on the edge of that can. Stop complaining. What do you think? This whole whole can? Is this a simple meal or not? Yes, this is 28 ounces of beans. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think I'm going to put any water in here either. I'm going to use the liquid from the beans, the sauce, the barbecue. Big bean sauce. I'm going in. See? Oh, quiet down, quiet down. Oh, that's it. Think I'll put a little bit of water, maybe some, maybe splash of water. Let's stir that up a little bit, see how it goes. Mm. Let me stir that up. Stir it up. The ultimate pork and beans. 
You know when you buy pork and beans and you get that one little piece of fat on top and you think that's lucky? You love that little piece? Oh, this is going to be better than that. With no fat. What do you think? Just a splash of water. Not much. Just a splash. Splash! Splash! Shake that can up. A little bit. A little bit. That's enough. We, don't, we always say don't go all the way up. We always say just go two-thirds full. I think I got overexcited here. But, cancel that saute mode. Close the lid. So easy. We know it's in pressure mode. Isn't that great? That's the best thing. Okay, let's go to menu. Rice, canning, steam, poultry, meat. That's why I want meat. And I'm gonna, we'll start, start. 40 minutes. I probably don't have to go that long, but I'm just using the meat stew function because I like it. Okay, now that's gonna blink until it comes up to pressure, and then since this is the first time, we're gonna see what happens when it comes up to pressure. Don't you like the way it, it locks on top of there and releases? Yeah, this is gonna be good. Ultimate pork and beans in the Kasori two quart pressure cooker. Amazing! We'll be back soon. Can't wait. I'm hungry. You know I'm hungry. Good time to eat. Then when the pressure comes up, it lights up pressure. And tells us how many minutes we have left. I like this. You see it? Is the light messing up? Is it better without the light? I like it. It's nice. Good sorry. Two quart. They got bigger ones too. They got six quart. But I want to try a two quart because I never had one that small. And I like it. And there's gonna be some good pork and beans in there. Yep. There it is. All done. Alright. I hear you. Okay, now it goes into keep warm mode. But, we're going to release this pressure. I'm going to show you how this amazing lid works. Let me show you how this works. Watch. Remember we used to have to hit the valve back there? Psst, psst, psst. Well, now we push the button. Watch. See that? Isn't that nice? Man, I love that. Sorry. Two quart. I love that push button. Look, you can stop it. That's great. Alright, I'll be back when that pressure's out. Smells delicious. I do believe the pressure is completely released. I really like that. I like that feature. And I also like this feature where you can turn it to there and tip the lid up oh that looks so good and it's full i usually don't go that full but look at this let me get a big spoon over here or i could use the spoon that came with it a ladle not this ladle oh ultimate pork and beans you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do something i usually don't do see now it's in keep warm mode but i'm gonna cancel that look at this that's gonna be so tender you know, one thing I normally don't do is remove the pot, but I'm going to show you that you can take this pot out and bring it over to your table and serve it right from there. Come here. See? Right onto the table. Ooh. Now here it is. Its own serving bowl. My first meal in the Kasari two quart pressure cooker. Pork and beans, ultimate. Look. Oh. I forgot to put onion in there. I meant to put onion in there. Oh well. You can put onion in yours if you want. Look at this. How tender do you think that meat's gonna be? Mm. Should I taste it for you? Yee! Look. You see? Take a piece of that meat. Look how tender. See it? Look. I know you can't see, it's just falling apart. It's just flaking apart. Mmm. Mmm. That meat falls apart tender. It has all that beautiful barbecue bushes, baked bean sauce infused into it. Baby. 
and the beans. Mmm. Mmm. Great. See this? I'm controlling it with my phone. Sometimes I gotta do that. If you wonder what I'm looking at over there. Anyway, hey, that was a fun live chat earlier, wasn't it? Mm hmm. That's where I, un I unboxed this Kasori two quart on my live chat. Most of you were there, some of you weren't, but you could check it out. And also check out this Kasori 2.1 quart, 2 liter capacity, 7 function, multi cooker, multi functional. That's great. Nine safety guards built in. 12 built-in preset co cooking modes. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I'll put a link to Amazon down there. You can check that out. Get yourself one. They come bigger, too. I think there's six quart as well. We're going to hear more from Kasari soon. That's for sure. Thank you very much. Thanks for visiting. Thanks for stopping by earlier. Try this easy meal for your family or for yourself. Can of beans, piece of meat. Push the button. How easy can it get, right? All right. Have a nice night, everybody. Ah, floater. Please subscribe. Have a nice night. Bye. Mmm.